is a link between people having a bank account and the development of the country. Having a bank account, participating in the economy, the economy growing, and therefore the country developing further. There are millions of people without access to bank accounts. So the question is what we can do to give them access. Mobile money is using mobile phones to send and receive money. And this is becoming a major way that payments are made in the developing world. And this is for people who don't have desktop, who don't have a lot of electricity, but they've got a mobile phone. So this has been revolutionary. We're looking at the use of banking products like a bank account, a checking account of any kind, a credit card. And we're trying to figure out what those fundamental determinants are. And then the second stage of that research is trying to figure out where mobile money fits among those financial products. What we're finding is that the most important factors that have to do with people using a bank account, for example, is financial literacy, education, and the overall state of the economy. And what we see is people using more financial products like bank accounts when the economy is doing well and fewer when it's doing poorly. Another finding is that in states where there have been no bank failures, where there's a more stable banking system, there has been greater take up of mobile money and of banking products. So the key takeaways from the research are first, if you want people to use more mobile money, to use banking products in general, you'd want to increase education, you'd want to increase financial literacy, and you'd want to make sure that the banking system is stable. What we know from Kenya and from the M-Pesa experience is that gaining access to mobile money gives people access to the formal financial system, which can lead to greater economic growth. This can be a game changer for access to finance.